If you think Hull City Centre has nothing to offer, think again. We're on a mission to highlight the best of what's really here. The hidden gems, independent shops and great places to eat that make it a great day out. A couple of weekends ago we spent a Saturday afternoon at this year's Freedom Festival, an annual arts festival that brings a unique bus to the city centre with live performances, street art and installations popping up all over the place. It's one of many exciting events happening year round in the city centre, especially through spring and summer. We parked at Prince's Quay, which costs £6 for the afternoon, but there are other car parks that charge just £3 for the whole day. But this was more convenient though, as it was closer to the festival and Old Town. Driving into town was actually really quick for us. We live in Kingswood and it only took 15 minutes to drive in, and I think that would be pretty much the same for most people around Hull on a clear run. Now, while some people often say all the shops are closed, we found plenty of small, independent shops offering unique items, clothing, gifts and accessories you won't find online. We also took the kids to Super Bowl, which is great for families with bowling, soft play, a bar, pool tables and an arcade where the kids love collecting prize tickets. Lunchtime took us to Trinity Market, a hidden gem packed with amazing food stalls, selling all kinds of world cuisine. We went for delicious chow mein from Cheng and Chen and cheesy pulled pork burritos from Boss Burrito. After lunch, we explored the festival performances dotted across the city centre. A show called Code was our favourite, which was a blend of parkour and bike stunts, tackling themes of exploitation and youth crime. Later on, we had to head back a bit sooner than planned, so we grabbed a quick bite from German Doner Kebab. While we love supporting Hull's independence, the bigger chains can be good too, and GDK never disappoints. Their kebabs and boxes always taste amazing, especially the waffle bread so it was good food that was really quick too. For us it's all about perspective. Some people focus on what's missing from the city centre but we like to focus on what's there. We believe that by supporting the businesses already in place we can help create an even better destination for the future. For a complete guide to events, food and entertainment in Hull City Centre head to our new dedicated section at hullwatson.com slash Hull City Centre and give us a follow to discover more of Hull and East Yorkshire.